if I play my cards right, that might be the last time I have to go through that hole. If I play my cards right, I'm in here. This is the last day. I told mommy I'd be done today. And in this area, I've got to make up this electrical outlet box right here. I've got to uh, install the light fixture up in there. And then I got to install the light fixture on the other side of that wall. And I have everything with me. And when I get done, I should be able to take all the little bits and pieces that I have left out of here so I can start working over from that side out towards the crawl hole. Yeah. Oh, I am so glad. Okay, so I'm going to hook up this electrical outlet first. Remember, the power came from up in the house and it came down to feed this box. And I needed that box to be fed because I went over and I hooked up an electrical outlet in the floor for the couch, the sectional couch that is electrified upstairs. I've already installed that uh, electrical outlet on the floor, but now I've got to hook up this box. And then there's power that goes out of this to a light switch on the other side of this wall, way down there, that's gonna control the three lights that I put up. So I've gotta hook that wire up too, and then there was another wire uh, that was, no, that was, that was it. So three wires, power coming in, one going over to the couch, and one going over to a light switch to power up a light switch and electrical outlet on the other side of this wall that connects up to the three lights. If you wanna see me hook up this electrical outlet, stick around. Okay, I think that's as close as I'm going to get you uh, so that I can, I'm going to try to stay out of your way as, as best I can. Okay, so I could have made this just a junction box, connected all these wires, all the blacks together, all the whites together, all the grounds together, put a blank plate on there. Have my junction box, right? But instead of just doing that, it's going to be a junction box as well as I'm gonna go ahead and install an electrical outlet there. Seems as though I have the power there, why not put an electrical outlet there, right? Oh, oh, oh. Dabbity nabbit, I just, I just blew my nose a second ago. But that's why, that's why I bring the toilet paper down here. <laughs> and I got it in my ears. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is strip these wires. And I, and I do this. I get back in there uh, with my with my sheetrock knife. And make sure you have a sharp knife. And keep your fingers out of the way. Then I retract it as I pull this up. Then I then I put it out again. Cut it off, retract it. I'm taking this paper off the ground wire. Sometimes you can kind of pull that off by pushing back and pulling hard. But most of the time I just I just use my knife. Okay, so Remember this, this was the one, the, the power that came down from the actual house. And I don't really need to uh, have that marked or anything. So I hold it down here and score to about there and then I get my fingers up here and work my way down. Uh, most, no, most professional electricians do that but they do have a little tool that you can place over the wire, push it back in there. It's got a little crimper, a little thing in here like that. And then it smashes down on the, on the cable and then you pull it and, it and it rips it. Okay, but I've never really seen anybody use that. Okay. 
And there was one. I just get back as far as I can, you know, half inch away from where it comes into the box or whatever. And I could have cut that shorter to the length, but in case it's long enough to save for pigtails, I'll uh, already have the wire stripped. Okay, get your wire out of the way. And I just kind of do that to it. And like I say, you want a sharp, you want a sharp uh, knife as you're doing that. So you don't, so you don't have to push too hard on it. Okay, well, that's what I got so far. Now, I'm gonna rearrange this. I'm gonna get the black and white wires up out of the way so that I just have the ground wires. We're gonna work on the ground wires first, shall we? We'll work on those first. And uh, I just wanna make sure they're not crisscrossing and overlapping so that when I get done with this, I can push the wire nut all the way in the back because what I'm gonna do here is on the, uh, the electrical receptacle. This is a duplex receptacle, meaning two du, uh, duplex receptacle. It's got a ground screw on there. I've got three ground wires, but I only want one to come out for that. And so, I'm gonna make some pick. I'm gonna make a pigtail. Yeah, this one's this one's the shortest, and and it, the tip of it was kind of messed up. Okay, I have I have some uh, some little crimpers. I think I'll do that. I'll, I think I'll do that on another box. We're gonna do this with. Uh, well, actually, maybe I should find my crimpers. They're just copper sleeves is what they are. And I've got my uh, my little electrical catch-all bag here. Here we go. They're just little sleeves. Okay, so what I can do is take two wires back here and kind of crisscross them there, take my my pliers and do it a couple more times like that. And then I'm gonna pull that together. I'm gonna put the sleeve on there. Like that. I don't want to smash that on there. And they do have a they do have a little a little crimper smasher goodie and I don't have one so I just take my pliers and kind of pinch on there and get it on okay it's a little goodie like that and you put it on there and smash it on there but now I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut one of those grounds off okay I'm gonna take my pliers and just take the end of that and fold it over and kind of smash it on there. Okay, like that. And now I'm gonna take another sleeve. And sometimes you can get sleeves and you can put all three of them together, but uh, the sleeves have to be bigger. And I don't use them that much. If I, if I did electrical every day, I would have some bigger ones. And I could have twisted all three of these together in one go. You know what I mean? We just want to make sure this has a good a good bond. Okay. Put the sleeve on. S smash that on there. There. I got it. And the last bit that's overhanging, I just kind of 
smash that on there. It's almost like, are those even really needed once you twist everything together? Well, in the old days, they probably just twisted, and then they came up with the crimpers. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this, the shortest one off, like that. And I can take the same, my same cutters, go over, and sometimes I can kind of just take, take my cutters like that. You want to make sure that you don't push too hard and cut the whole thing off. Okay. And I look at my electrical outlet and my ground wire is on the bottom left. So I want this long wire coming out at the bottom on the left. So now I can take all those and I can kind of fold it up however I want, get it up there into the back of the box. Boom. And that allows me to do all that without putting a wire nut on there. I've seen some guys, uh, they'll take all, th all three ground wires and then they'll take an extra piece of ground uh, wire, bare copper wire, and then put all four of them together, put a wire nut on there, push the wire nut back there so that you got one ground wire coming out. You could do that too, but because I got three wires in this box, I, I'm gonna do that with my white wires and my black wires. Well, I can do it. I can do it either. Way. I can do it two ways. Either either way, I'm gonna have uh, some wire nuts in there. Okay. So follow me now. I've got all my black wires. I don't care which one is the power now. I really don't care. And I look on my I look on my electrical outlet. On the left hand side is a longer slot, silver screw. So I know my white wires. My white wire is going to come out here. Black wire is over here. 